headline from the Telegraph. With Kamala Harris looking unelectable, the Democrats are considering the nuclear option. Whispers in Washington suggest Joe Biden's camp has a plan to find a more popular replacement ahead of the 2024 White House battle. Democrats desperately scrambling to find a potential successor to Joe Biden in 2024 are whispering about potential nuclear option that could see Kamala Harris, the current vice president, nominated to the Supreme Court. While the scenario is highly improbable, the perhaps, this would the second time we're hearing it, and perhaps a reflection of Washington rumor mill in overdrive, the fact has come up. Uh, the fact that it has come up at all shows the depths of the predicament that the Biden administration currently finds itself in amid rising inflation, a stalled domestic agenda, and foreign policy disasters, one after another, might I add. But this is bullshit. If they're still, they really are talking about that. The Supreme Court is not about getting Kamala out of the way so somebody else else can can run in Joe's place, even though the senile, doddering old fuck uh, said that he's going to be running for re-election in 2024, so I guess they're just like, hmm, forget he said that. Mull right over it. Just roll right over that one. He's not running for anything. He can barely run to the bathroom. That's why he wears diapers now. So what does this really mean, if any of this actually is true? But we're hearing it more and more, so we have to consider that at least some of it is true. This obviously is BS because your vice president isn't your preemptive candidate. If they want to primary her, they can just as easily primary her. If she's this unpopular, nobody's going to blame the Democrat Party for doing it. It's not an optical thing. It would actually be something that a lot of people would think would be good. Kamala may have to just deal with the fact that nobody likes her, but fuck her. So the whole, the whole idea that they can't just primary her if she decides to run and do her own fundraising is ridiculous because Joe Biden can then, if he's still alive, can go and endorse whoever he wants. He can support her publicly. He can throw an endorsement behind Big Bird or Oscar the Grouch or whoever the hell else from Sesame Street they get to run because that's the only thing that they're, they're going to have to make it so that 12-year-olds can vote soon. But... um this makes no sense. Why Supreme Supreme Court? First of all, is does this mean Justice Breyer is going to be stepping down? And why are they going to push her in there? Unless it's just to be soundly rejected and actually get somebody else up. And then she gets her $25 million payoff or something like that. This is about replacing Biden now, I believe. And I think many of you believe that too. This is not about 2024 because... When 2024 comes, they can put up whoever the hell they want. Anybody out there can primary the president. They can primary the, I I mean, a a couple of people tried primarying Donald Trump. Who was it? Bill Weld? Who were a couple of the idiots that went out there and wasted their time? That other one, John something with the, uh, the, 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 the three people that listened to his radio show? Made a complete fool of himself? So this is about now. They need her out now. They need her out now so they can think about how they get Joe out. But first they have to replace her so that whoever replaces her can replace him. And I know some people are still saying Hillary Clinton. I just can't get my head around that. I just can't do it. But who knows? Because I didn't expect this uh, old Muppet to get this far. 